good morning welcome back to my channel so in the previous clip you guys saw that it was dark and now it's light so uh, I go to the gym every morning before I go to the salon it is like seven o'clock when I'm on my way home and that's when I film that so in case you guys are wondering why the lighting is different it is now 9 30 and I'm on my way to the salon it is Monday morning uh, the first week of the year in the salon so uh, it's the week after New Year's but I um, am going in a little bit later today typically I go into the salon around 8 30 uh, but I wanted to start a little bit later just because obviously like the new year and the holidays and all that stuff so I've had a lot to do this morning get just prepared for the week I just had to park and finish filming this intro because I ran out of memory on my camera so anyways what I was saying is that in today's video I'm taking you guys along with me for a week in my life here at the salon and just like in general so I usually work Mondays Tuesdays I'm off on Wednesdays and then I work Thursday and Friday um, typically on those days I'll work like 9 to 7 or 9 to 9 it just kind of depends um, right now like this week it looks like it's just like an average week it's not like super busy or anything I didn't want my first week to be like insanely busy just because it's after the holidays and you know just trying to enjoy myself so today I'm working from 10 well it's 9 45 and I just got to the salon but uh, 9 45 until about 7 30 brother only comes home twice a year so uh, since he's home for the holidays I did want to hang out with him a little bit more this week whenever I get off work so obviously I didn't want to work till 9 o'clock at night um, just because I want to spend time with him so uh, I'm not working too too late this week but I just wanted to bring you guys along with me just so you can see like an average week in my life in case you are curious. But if you guys are wondering what a week of my life looks like, then just keep on watching. done with client number one I'm just disinfecting my chair um, and I don't have a mask on because there's no one else in here with me currently um, it is a Monday so uh, my client just like I just did a partial foil as you guys saw um, and it was super easy like she just gets the mohawk section a couple foils in her hairline um, she's just a sweet little mom and I love her so much I'm actually super close to her um, but yeah, so we just finished up with that. And I do want to say, what was that? Saying? I sometimes get a couple of questions on people asking like working by myself versus working with an assistant. And I personally have never worked with an assistant before. Um, I've only ever worked by myself. Um, just because I did kind of start off with booth rental. I worked at a commission based on for like two weeks and just saw that it just wasn't for me. So I did booth rental starting off and I just have always been by myself. Um, and I just don't really want to like hire an assistant. Like I just like the way that my, um, just the way that like my day goes when I'm by myself. And I know I could probably have an assistant, but my clients actually really appreciate the fact that I don't have an assistant. And I've just kind of built my business, like my business model, like scheduling and everything with not having an assistant. Regardless, I just kind of wanted to explain that because I know some people are like, you know, why don't you have an assistant? You know, you should with how booked you are, but I just personally don't, I just don't really like it. Never tried it, but I don't know. I don't really even know how I would try it or like experiment with it. Um, but yeah, we're gonna move on to client number two.
All right, you guys, so that is it for my Monday. It is currently 6.30. If you guys saw, she actually only got a partial. Um, so she wasn't here that long. She was only here for two hours. Um, and yeah, so I will see you guys actually tomorrow because I'm about to get out of here after I finish sweeping. Hello, good morning. It is officially Tuesday. It is currently 7.20 in the morning. I just got home from the gym. Um, so I'm going to get myself ready. I'm just waiting for the dogs to go poop so I can feed them. Um, and I'm gonna get myself ready for work and then I'll see you guys over at the salon. We are back in the salon now. Let me turn this music. Let me turn this music down real quick. And today on the schedule, I have a partial foil this morning that I'm starting off is currently 8.30. I'm just here getting some stuff ready. Um, and then I have a full balayage and then a super heavy full foil on my chiropractor, Laura. Um, if you guys haven't been to her, definitely go check her out. I'll show you guys her beautiful white hair that we love doing. Um, but yeah, that's what I have on the books for today. I'll probably get out of here, hopefully at like 6.30, but maybe seven. Um, but yeah. I'm gonna take you guys along with me. Good morning and welcome back. Today is Wednesday and it is 7, 7.40 in the morning currently. Christian and I just got back from the gym and he just went to work. It is my day off. I say that because I still have a lot to do. Um, but right now I'm just going to do like a quick little cleanup of the house because our dishes are insane right now. Um, and there's just like crap everywhere because you guys know how long my days are. Mondays and Tuesdays that like it seems like a hurricane just happens in my house. Say good morning, Tay. Good morning. Um, so yeah, but anyways, on today's agenda, I'm gonna go and get a consultation for Botox. If you guys can see right here, actually, let me zoom in for you. If you can see it right here, there's like a shadow. But right there, it is like starting to um, just kind of like cave in and like my under eye bags are insane like i'm gonna show you guys without the shadow but this is with makeup on like that is ridiculous my under eye bags have always looked like someone's punched me in the face you know whenever that kid in high school is like mm, are you okay are you sick and it's like no dude i'm just not wearing makeup today like i hate when people say that are you sick are you not feeling well? shut up um so yeah i have to go get a consultation. I'm just curious about like pricing and like what she would recommend doing. And then also I've had, I've had this wrinkle on my head. I swear since I was like two years old because my expression always, whenever I'm like just anything, like if I'm like at the sun, like looking at the sun, I'm like, I don't know. I just always go like this whenever I'm talking. So I'm going to go to that consultation and then I have to go to my OB because I'm having some issues with my um, IUD that I need to get fixed. It's TMI, so I'm not going to bring it up. Um, and then after that, I have to go to a meeting with um, like later on this afternoon, Christian and I are going to go meet with a, mm, I can't really say it. It's a hair care um, hair care line, they're like salesperson here in this territory. But 
Can't really talk much more about that. It's just, we're gonna go meet with them, go talk some numbers and some things. So I've been back for a little while. So I've been back from my consultation for a little while. I decided to go without makeup just so that she could see my skin and my face like in its purest form. Um, but I just made myself two eggs and a piece of toast and um, I'm about to leave to go to my OB doctor to go see her. Um, but anyways, I was gonna tell you guys about my consultation. You can see that right there is where it's kind of starting to divot inwards and it's because of my under eyes and how deep it is. And she says that when you get older, I guess like the volume in your face right here just tends to like go inwards and you don't have as much volume. Um, so what she would do is basically put like a little bit of under eye filler right here. Um, and that would like kind of like puff it back up is what she was saying. Um, just to give me like a little bit more volume right there to get it to go away or something like that i can't remember and then i asked her about this line right here um and uh i believe it was going to be like 750 but i'm thinking that i'll probably wait until like covid is over because obviously i wear a mask all the time um and it covers right here so there's really no point to me getting it done right now it's not like anybody sees my face besides like christian and my family because i don't really go anywhere so I think I may just wait until after COVID is finished. Um, but yeah, that's basically how my consultation went. Hello, I am back from my meeting and I'm currently in my bathroom. I just put my hair up. Um, I am actually going to jump in the shower and I wanted to show you guys the hair care that I'm using. Um, this is a shampoo and conditioner that I alternate with. So I am Oh my god. <laughs> you guys know that I am obsessed with Lanza, so I am using their Healing Strength White Tea Shampoo and then their Manuka Honey Conditioner. This is the Strength line and oh my god, it smells so good and it makes my hair so soft. Um, and then I alternate between that and the Olaplex number four and five, of course. I'm almost out of this one and I am less than halfway through with that one. So I'm gonna go ahead and wash my hair and I think this is where I'm gonna end today's vlog and then I will start again tomorrow. I just made it to the salon. It is Thursday morning. I'm so excited because Fanola delivered today. So I got my, well, yesterday, but I wasn't in yesterday. So I got my Fanola No Yellow Lightener. And then I also got their um, Oro Therapy Lightener as well. So I'm so excited to use those two lighteners today. I'm just like using all different types of lighteners, but I really want to focus in on like one specific brand and I absolutely love the Fanola Oral Therapy Lightener. I haven't tried the No Yellow, but I'm gonna try that today on my first client. And then um, I love their No Yellow Shampoo, so I feel like it's not gonna disappoint. This little hair right here will not stay down. I'm about to have to like curl my hair or do something with it because it's driving me crazy. But on today's agenda, I'm not working that late because I'm gonna go see my brother one last time before he leaves back to Florida. So I um, probably only working till like 4.45 or five or something. So um, it is 8.30 and I'm just getting ready for my client. So I have a haircut first and then I have a balayage and the haircut. And then I have a full foil haircut and another haircut in between that because it's her daughter that's coming in. So um, yeah, that's what's on the agenda. So I will see you guys throughout the day.
happy Friday. Um, so, obviously you guys saw yesterday, I didn't hardly film anything. I think I filmed me doing my first client. Um, and after that, I feel like my day just kind of like went to shit. And it wasn't necessarily because of work. Like it was, there was like a lot of like things going on with like family and like stuff like that. Um, and then my brother's like death anniversary is today. And so I was like really sad yesterday. And, um, and, there, and then I got like color on my pants and I was like, well, this sucks. And it's like my favorite pair of jeans and you know you can't get color out. And then it just like, it was just a really bad day. Like it was very emotional, very bad. And so I was like, I don't even wanna film. So I didn't film anything yesterday. Everything with like my clients went well. I was just like too upset to film. So it is Friday. I'm now starting over. Um, I just got to the salon and it is 8.30. Uh, Christian and I went to the gym this morning per usual. So I've been up since 5.15 and I actually treated myself. Christian and I haven't eaten out in like 11 days now, I think, or something like that. So I just got myself my favorite breakfast sandwich from Burgers to eat. And then I wanted to show you, I got a couple of things from Salon Centric this morning. I got my new brush. I needed a size that was this big. And this is my favorite brand, which is Olivia Garden. And I do have this size right here, which is like the Mamba Jumbo. It's huge, um, but I love the Olivia Garden brushes, so. Just wanted to show that to y'all because I was super excited. Probably shouldn't be doing that with my expensive shoes. Um, and then I also got this new product that I'm really excited to try. This is the Lanza Healing Color Care Color Illuminator. Just says instantly revives hair color by increasing hue, vividness, and luminosity. Prov provides a brilliant and vibrant shine. So, I don't know. I just love all of Lanza's products. So, starting to collect them all. Um, and then I got this brush right here, which is the eye blend. So I wanted this for whenever my clients are in the shampoo bowl and I'm doing a shadow root, um, Maggie MH and I believe BC uses this. I know Maggie uses it. So I wanted to pick that up and then I got a couple of permanent colors cause I'm doing a really exciting color next week and I'll probably be filming it. Um, but I got Kenra 5 VR, um, and then a 3 VR as well. And then I also got, um, 5 RB, so she doesn't have hot roots. And then I got, um, 3N and 5N for my gray coverage clients. So today I won't be really filming that much, um, just because like my first, Client, I'm probably gonna film her like an actual separate video if I can see what her hair looks like because I just, I can't remember. Well, it's not that I can't remember. She hasn't come in in a really long time, but when she used to come to me like a year ago, her hair was all dark brown. And then during quarantine, one of her friends, I guess, who's a stylist lightened it. So I don't know what that looks like, but she wants a balayage. So I might be filming that as a separate video so you guys will see like clips from it. If I do end up filming it, I will um, like link it down below and stuff of course. So yeah, that's what we have on the agenda. And then I just have like two gray coverage clients. So that's why I won't be filming that much. Um, and my last client, I don't think she wants to be filmed. She's very like private and I don't think she wants to be on camera. So I'm not gonna film her, but um, I guess I'll see you guys throughout the day. Happy Friday.
All right, so I just got home from the salon and I realized I forgot to do an outro to this video while I was there, but I'm officially done with the work week. I'm so excited. I don't know why I've just been exhausted this week. So I'm really, really excited to finally be done, but it is six o'clock, just got home. So um, yeah, that's typically what an average week in my life looks like. Sometimes I work later, sometimes I get off earlier. It just depends on like the clients and what I have for the day. So um, I'm sorry I didn't film more of like Friday, like today's actual colors and stuff. Like I said, it was just great coverage clients after that balayage and I did film that entire balayage. So I was kind of like exhausted and overwhelmed by doing that because it was really last minute to like be filming it. So I filmed the video plus the vlog today. But anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Let me know what else you guys want to see and I hope to see you all in my next one. Bye guys.